Hi, boys and girls. Today we are doing a lesson with the letter R. But before I start that, when I was in worship on Sunday, a song um, came to me that I hadn't taught you and that I thought maybe that you would like to learn. Um, maybe you already know it, but if you don't, it's one of those uh, echo songs like you repeat. So I'm going to just sing um, the, the stanzas of the song. And then if you um, sing it with your family or your brothers and sisters back and forth, one of you would sing it and then one of you would repeat. And this has to do with two names of God. Um, one of them we've already done king he's the king of kings and then for the letter l we did not do lord but that is also um, god's name lord lord all capitals means the great i am lord l capital l o r d is he's our lord and master so let me sing this song for you Hail Jesus, you're my King, your life frees me to sing. I will praise you all my days, you're perfect in all your ways. Hail Jesus, you're my Lord, I will obey your word. I want to see your kingdom come, not my will but yours be done. You can replay that if you want to learn that song. Okay, today we are doing R, and our word or words for R is God is our rock and our refuge. Um, he's our rock in stormy times. He's our rock that we can go to that will never change. And I'm going to read you a couple verses from scripture and then um, tell you a story that Jesus told um, to the people that were following him back when he was on the earth. Okay, this is from 2 Samuel and this is David singing a song of praise to God. And he says in chapter 22 and verse 3, The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my savior. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my refuge, my savior, the one who saves me from violence. And then another scripture, and this one is in the New Testament. And that's interesting that in Samuel, David's talking about that. And he doesn't know about Christ yet. He, he is back in the Old Testament times, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years before Jesus came to the earth. And yet he's talking about God as his rock. And then in 1 Corinthians 10, verse Four, it says this and all of them drank the same spiritual water okay this is talking about um, the Israelites when they came out of Egypt okay for they drank from the spiritual rock that traveled with them and that rock was Christ they got water from a rock Moses did right in the Old Testament but this is saying that that spiritual rock, Jesus Christ, was traveling with them the whole time. And he was the true rock. That was 1 Corinthians 10, verse 4. Um, let's sing the song, um, Jesus is a Rock, to go along with that. And then I will read you the story that Jesus told and do a little visual with that, okay? Jesus is the rock, the rock, the rock. 
Jesus is the rock of our salvation. Jesus is the rock, the rock, the rock. Jesus is the rock of our salvation. And then we go into the wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock and the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up and the wise man's house stood firm. But the foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand and the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. And the foolish man's house went splat. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. Build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. Build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. Blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, I want to uh, remind you of this word refuge. Refuge is a place that you can go where you're safe. Back in the Old Testament, they had what were called cities of refuge. If somebody had committed a crime, like say they accidentally killed somebody, they could run to that city and they would be protected. They were called cities of refuge. You can read about that um, in the Old Testament um, before uh, the people of God, the Israelites, uh, not before, I'm sorry, after the Israelites left Egypt and were going into the promised land. Um, that's where you can read about that, uh, the cities of refuge. Um, okay, now I want to read to you from Matthew. This is Matthew chapter 7. And verse 24 through 28. Anyone who listens to my teaching, this is Jesus talking, and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with real authority, quite unlike their teachers of the religious law. Okay, he told this story for a reason it wasn't just a cute story to go you know so we could make up a song about it it was a story where he was telling them if you listen to my teaching and do it you're wise if you just listen to it and it just goes in one ear and out the other that's like the foolish man so let's go see what this looks like for real okay Okay, I'm out here on my stoop and I have um, two houses on rock and I have a house on the sand, which I didn't realize that almost looks like a face. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what happens when it, it really starts to rain hard on this.
what Jesus said, right? Those houses on the sand went kaplui. But the houses that were on the rock, even the one that was kind of on a ledge of the rock, it was, it was safe. It stayed. It was solid because it was built on the rock. So remember, build your house on the rock and Christ will be your refuge. He will be your protection in the storms of life. When things aren't the way we want, um, when troubles come, when sickness comes, when all different things happen in our lives, Jesus will be our rock if we are listening and doing what he says. And he is always there to help us and guide us. Happy Thanksgiving. Be thankful and praise God this week um, for all the wonderful blessings that he has given you.